Guys, uh, I met Brian Pilling in high school when I was 13, and I remember we we bonded. It was I think they called it twerk day or something, where the anybody over grade nine could beat the hell out of you all day long. And I already had I had the first Beatle haircut in my in my high school, and Brian brushed the grease out of his and put it forward, and we both ended up running across the field pretending we were being chased by girls and let's put a band together, you know, we were 13 years old. And his brother Ed came back from England and uh, I remember the first time we met Ed, uh, he was three hours late arriving because he had shoulder length blonde hair back in 64 when he was in England. And the bus drivers in Toronto wouldn't pick him up. And where we met him at the restaurant, Brian we, and I were so excited talking about his big brother coming back from England that we didn't notice that we sat there for a couple of hours and nobody served us. <laughs> so it was actually like that in Toronto. If you had long hair back then, I mean, you stood a chance of getting beaten up everywhere you went. And grease balls, we called them back in those days. They, they'd jump on you and they'd cut your hair off if they could. And of course, at school, it was hell because the gym teachers hated our guts. So it was interesting, uh, we were sort of pioneers, I guess, uh, back then having long hair when nobody did. And I mean, we're talking beetle haircuts, which wasn't that long anyway, not by the standards of when people grew it down to their waist. Anyway, uh, we played together for a couple of years. Our first band was called The Pretty Ones. <laughs> it was a stretch. But we were 13 and 14 and 15 years old, so we were sort of cute back in those days. Uh, then Brian and Ed, when they were uh, 16 and 18, uh, they went back to England, where they ended up uh, in Cat Stevens' band. And uh, they got to uh, to play with Cat. They, they, they did some gigs at the Paris Olympia with Jimi Hendrix, and I think Engelbert Humperdinck was on the show, and <laughs> Strange Bills back in those days. And uh, then they, they came back from England, and uh, we uh, they put Flood together, and I saw the band, and I went, oh, i got to get in this, because I love the vocal harmonies, because that's what we started playing when we were kids. So I weaseled my way into the band, and uh, we recorded uh, four or five albums. But we had eight, uh, back when radio was real, uh, not that it is in these days, but it's different. Uh, we had eight top ten uh, singles back in those days, which was great, because, you know, I was like 19 years old or 20 years old, and we had all these records on the radio right across the country. And this is a song that you guys will probably remember.
right from the horse's mouth. Thank you, Frank. Thank you. We, uh, because I had to bring.